Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The company is Home Improvement Doctor, part of the DIY Doctor Group. And uh, as you know, we are builders. Um, but every now and again, we need um, steels welded together. We need um, lintels made, especially for uh, opening doors, etc., etc., etc. Um, and when we need something like that, we come to the people that really know what they're doing. And, and in all instances, when we've got any welding to be done, uh, we come along to see our mate Ivor at Special Welding Services, um, and he puts it together for us. So we thought it was a great opportunity to show you, to teach you a little bit about welding. Okay. Now we're going to show you a couple of types of arc welding today. Uh, arc welding is so cool because the two currents between uh, there's a huge current passes um, between the electrodes. It melts the metal um, around the joint and using uh, a metal component in the gun itself it all fuses together to form a joint which is as strong if not stronger than the actual material itself. Um, the first thing that uh, Ivor's going to use is this little beauty. This is called a mag welder so that's metal active gas, um, MAG. Um, and you can see there's a central core of metal there um, and the gun itself which passes out a gas and as the uh, current is passing between the surfaces and fusing these bits of metal together, literally melting them together, the gas keeps all of the oxygen away because it's the oxygen that contaminates the weld and puts bubbles in there and, um, and makes it a weaker weld. So in all instances of arc welding, whether we're going to be using the mag um, or some stick welding that we're going to do in a moment, um, everything is designed to keep as much oxygen out of the way as is physically possible. So that's a brief explanation of mag welding. I'm going to give this to Ivor because I haven't got a clue how to do it. Um, he's the man, I'm going to give it to him and uh, he's going to tack this together and then we're going to show a joint using a mag gun. Okay, over. Over yeah, to you, mate. You might need to put a, a cone down on your lens. Uh, Wait too bright for it. Safety gloves on. That joint is now done. Okay, so there's one successful mag joint. Um, I've got a couple of questions I'm going to ask Ivan now so that, so that we know exactly what happened there. Um, that looks dead neat, mate. Brilliant. Looking forward to getting this finished. Um, I saw you do a couple of things. You said that uh, before you started welding you were going to tack it. Yeah, well, um, just hold the joint together like uh, before it hold it firm so when you weld it it don't move. So just a couple of spots as yeah. well just to, just to keep to it sure together. I've got you. Yeah, okay. And then what were you bashing off with the bolster after? That was just a bit of uh, the slag that formed on top of the weld puddle. So you just remove it before you do another run on oh, it if right, you needed okay. to. It's just the protective coating basically to stop the molten puddle from getting oxidized with the oxygen from the right, area. Okay. So yeah, getting oxygen in there is really yeah. the thing that, that makes you a bad weld. Yeah, you don't want. Okay, terrific, <laughs> all right. And what's the next type of welding we're going to do on one of the other joints? We're going to do a manual metal arc, which is a, a basic coated electrode, what yeah. call a coated electrode. That's for the, the gas protects the weld on that type of uh, mag welding. This you've got a metal core with a flux around the outside, which actually protects the, the molten puddle the same as this one was. Okay. And except for the gas and protecting that, and the flux will protect. And the stops the oxygen puddle. getting in. And stops the oxygen from getting in. Oh right, and I've noticed in the workshop here you've got loads of different types of stick, different thicknesses, and that's right. stuff, and that presumably for, for heavier metals. Heavier metals, I see. Thinner yeah. and thicker metals. Right. What's the thinnest metal you can use this kind of welding for? Mag welding down to 0.6. Uh, 
manual metal art, you need a down to about one mil, two mil. You okay. can, you'll get away so with really it. really quite thin then, yeah, real, real flimsy stuff. DIY stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I think that's the point here, although, I mean, this is really, really expensive professional equipment. Um, we certainly know through the website that a lot of people try DI welding and go out and buy little yeah. units or whatever. So it, it's great for them to be able to see, you know, what the pros do and uh, get a scaled down version of that. Yeah. I suppose the main, the important thing is, I mean, I've heard a lot about something called Arkai. Yeah, um, and I'm presuming that's that. what the big helmet's about. What, what's right. all that about? What's, what's well, the Arkai? basically arc? the helmet is you've got a Inside here you've got the sensors that give you different shades of lens, which is a basic shield. Yeah. You just got it, the sooner you strike up an arc, the flash will activate the shield and make it go instantly dark. Oh right. But if the likes of a general public walking by you catch a flash, you can burn the rectangle of the eye. Okay, it's nice. just like give you intense sunburn on your eye light, which oh, is nasty, yeah. very nasty stuff. Yeah, I've heard it's really, really painful, so uh, it's not just a question of just putting on a pair of dark glasses and trying no. to get away with it. No, okay. definitely not. <laughs> okay, so remember that people, if you're going to do it, yeah. get the right stuff, it's so important. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let you get on with a bit of stick welding and, um, and I'll get out of the way. Taking the slag off the world, finished job. All right, so that's a, a, another perfect joint created by Ivor. Um, and that one you saw stick weld or manual metal arc. Okay, and it's the, the flux around the stick um, that keeps the oxygen away, because oxygen is our, is our enemy when it comes to welding. So, Ivor, the, the um, the current that drives these two forms of arc welding, where does that come from, how does that work? Well this one, the, the MIG, yeah. or MAG as commonly known, is the power comes up through the bench okay. and burns the wire as it, it makes contact. Okay. Manual metal art, the current can come either way because you've got DC positive or DC negative. Yeah where the current flows through the bench or through the actual work itself. Oh, I see. Okay, so, so you complete the circuit really yeah. by one way or the other. Or, or then you can go into AC, uh, which is uh, what, what you get a DIY set, is it plugs into the mains. Yeah. And that is just AC current, which is does exactly the same job as the DC in there. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, Except so for DC in uh, DC welding makes it the rods run a lot smoother, as you notice with that. Yeah. Um, the AC set would be a lot more sparkier like, it's, it's break, yeah. making them break in the arc oh, so I much. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's why people try DIY welding and say this isn't for me. This isn't for me, yeah, that's right. Because it's, it's much more difficult than yeah. the professional, that's using right. the professional kit. The equipment, yeah. Okay, so there you go DIYers, home improvers, if you want to do some welding, go and spend five or six grand on the kit and not the 200 quid for the, for the DIY kit. <laughs> you only get what you pay for. Yeah, you right? only get what you pay for. <laughs> Okay, that's fantastic. So we've now got a lovely T section which is going to go into uh, a building that's going to hold up some bifold doors for us. Um, and, and the answer there is, you know, we, we, we genuinely believe that uh, if you want a job done like this, if you, if you want a professional job done, come down to the professionals. We're hugely grateful to uh, Ivor and Special Welding Services um, for, for showing us how this lot works. We'll continue to use them um, and, and I hope you've got somebody near you that can do this job for you. Mike Edwards, uh, Home Improvement Doctor, and that's Arc Welding.